What is up boys and girls, in today's video we're taking a look at the Chinese Type 95 rubber bullet toy gun. So this blaster here shoots foam darts and the 9mm rubber bullets uh, like the Mauser C96 and the KG-9. Here it is in its box, it's got Army Combat Max Gun written there, new style soft bullet gun. A quick look at the back. A little diagram of the functions, you load the magazine, the magazine goes in the back of the stock. Uh, you pull back the charging handle which is up there, uh, pull the trigger to fire of course and then the foam dart you just load in there, pull back the charging handle and pull the trigger to fire. So let's take this out of the box, eh? Alright, that comes out as one big piece. Uh, so here's the Type 95, looking pretty groovy and uh, your ammo just here. Looks like you've got three foam darts and 12 rubber bullets by the looks. I was just counting. Got two sling mounts here, just one there and one there. Oh, it feels quite nice. Comfortable to shoulder. Uh, to remove the magazine, just push that in and out it pops. It's got a little arrow there to show you which way to put the bullets in. The trigger's up here. so. Uh, because the magazine's back here, I believe this style is called a bull pop design. Bull pop, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. You've got two tactical rails up the top here. A nice big front iron sight that sticks up there and that lines up with this little gap through here. Now, as you can see, the red pieces here look quite nice. Uh, you've got the red tip there. Uh, so pretty cool. Some other little features to note. There's like a little thing here like a bolt or something. Uh, pretend switch back here. A nice textured grip there. Oh, another tactical rail there. Um, got a glossy look to it, and the handle is actually a different colour. It's kind of like silver or something. Alright, so uh, we'll show you how it works now. Alrighty, so here's a look at the blaster. There it is, shouldered. So it is comfortable to shoulder. Uh, this is a one to one scale. There's the uh, front iron sight. So you line that up through there, pull that back, it's a bit of a hard prime. Sounds quite nice, the trigger pulls really nice too, it's quite soft. Move the magazine like so, that's, that's fancy, I definitely like that. Uh, so there's actually... So just looking in through here, I can actually see the, uh, there's like a, a rod here. Now that comes back when you pull back on the uh, charging handle. Ammo goes straight in and then it fires from all the way back here straight out. So it's going through like half a meter of barrel before it uh, exits the gun. Uh, that means there's probably a plunger in here and then it's shooting the air down and out through there. Um, I'll have to do a what's inside for this one, eh? That would be pretty cool to see uh, the functionality inside it. Um, so let's go ahead and load the magazine. Okay, so here's the magazine. As you can see there, there's an arrow. That points so that ammo faces that way. There's the other side. Just count it as I put them in. That's one. Two, whoops. Two. Three. Four, five, six. All right, six rounds, so it holds six. So now we just pop that in like so. Pull back the charging handle and you're good to fire. comfortable putting my hand up here after I'm priming it because that's just closest to the charging handle uh, but you can put your hand up here uh, but if you had tactical accessories that would get in the way so yeah that's how I'm firing it now let's try out these foam darts the question is how well can it shoot the foam darts because the air is going to have to travel all the way through there before it reaches the foam dart 
So, just pushing that in. Okay, so it does fire them. Not too bad. Well, that one was a little sad. Uh, it definitely shoots the rubber bullets much, much further than the foam darts. Um, so I'd say similar ranges to the Mauser or the KG9, um, which are the pistols. I'll post links to those videos in the description in case you want to check those out. But yeah, very cool uh, rubber bullet rifle, submachine gun. No, I, th I think this is a rifle, pretty sure. I will be putting this on the range and doing a range test, uh, so keep an eye out for that video. Um, we'll see how it performs. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, pop them down in the comment section below and we'll see you in the next video.